Blue Jackets hosting the Ducks, and the Ducks are plus 122 on the money line. The Blue Jackets are minus 146. The over-under is 6.5 goals. The Ducks getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 188, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one goal, you win. And the Blue Jackets laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 155, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two goals. Now, thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord and who continues to join the Discord. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets. Win, lose, or draw, you'll see how I did. So far tonight on Monday Night Football, I've done fantastic. NHL had one loss. Baseball was not my night tonight, so it is what it is. I pride myself on transparency. It looks like it's going to be dull still and Merce Lincolns, but neither one of the goaltenders have been confirmed for tomorrow's game. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team is 5-5. Five five. Ducks are on a four-game winning streak. The Ducks are 8-2 and two against the Blue Jackets in their last 10. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line, while the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 7-3. and three. The over has hit in their last three games. The over is 6-4. and four. The under, 6.5 goals, is 6-4, and four. and there have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 one-goal games in their last 10 meetings between each other. The last time they played each other, they did play each other twice last year. The Ducks won both games, 5-3 to three in Columbus and 7-4 to four at home. I'm going to take the Ducks here. Ducks with the money line, Ducks getting the goals, and I'll go over because the last three games they played against each other did go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.